welcome back to the Duke of Scarborough Shoes here in Geneva. I'm joined once again by Andre Delafonte from Go Beyond Investing, who is a founder, partner, and COO. Andre provides three hour online training sessions for startup investors. But today, Andre is summarizing those here in the Duke of Scarborough Studios. So, Andre, welcome back to the studios. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. So today we are discussing company valuations. So tell me a bit about this. Yeah, company valuation is paramount to actually getting a good financial return on the investment. Uh, even some companies that do extremely well, the entrepreneur is making good money, the, uh, the company is sold for a lot of money, but the investors still don't get their returns back once the company is sold. So how is this? How has this come about? Yeah, the investors initially actually invested at a too high valuation and that valuation did not actually pan out over the development of the startup. And once the startup is sold, the investors therefore do not get their money back, only part of it, uh, even though the company itself is doing very well. So what do you check within a startup to assess its valuation? Yeah, we look at a number of different um, methodologies to get the valuation from different angles and then we come to a consensus using some type of weighted average amongst five or six different methodologies actually. Fantastic. So can you give us some examples of when a valuation driver is the influence of a valuation of a startup? Yeah, so even for uh, the same company at the same stage, there are external factors that influence the valuation of the companies and these are called valuation drivers. So for example, the first one is the quality of the offer. This is the startup itself, the business itself. And there we look at the product, the market, the cash situation. Absolutely. And then on to market heat. So tell us a bit more about this. Yeah. So even similar companies at similar stages will be influenced by the market heat in their segment. So for example, today after Facebook and Airbnb's success, internet platforms in the US market are actually under a lot of market heat and therefore their valuations are carried higher uh, compared to other segments in other geographies today. And are there any other sectors when assessing company valuation? Yeah, so definitely the cash situation is very important. Even the best company can be killed uh, because it runs out of cash at some point. So therefore we look at the past cash, how, it, how that was managed and how much cash will be needed for the company to become successful. And this influences also the valuation drivers. Fantastic. Well, Andre, thank you so much for coming in and speaking to us again today. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you very much. Well, that's all from me and Andre today, but for all the latest Ducascopy updates, do keep clicking back. Goodbye for now.